Hey guys, this is Kate Kennedy and I'm excited to share with you a new release from Write at Home. And if you're not familiar, I'll have a link to the website below, but they're also available at Simon Says Stamp and I'm sure other stores also. So um, Nicole sent me some really fun new products from her latest release and with this little card it says, let's get crafty. And I'm just going to jump right into the first set. So this one is called Holly Jolly Christmas and it's a smaller stamp set. It is super, super cute, and what I love the most about it, I guess I'm looking at the back of it while I'm talking to you, what I love the most about it is that it is super easy to color. I am not great with Copic coloring or any sort of coloring in general, and this one makes it really easy because the spaces that you color in are nice and large. So I, I have two examples at the end of the video, one where I used Copics and one where I used watercolors. So it's, it's easy to do both ways. I also love the to and from on this set that I was just pointing out because they're separate and they're in a just a normal block font. A lot of times to and froms on holiday uh, stamp sets are kind of scripty or more fancy and I love how simple these are because you can use them all year round. So I really love this set. It's a great price point and super fun and it has a bunch of little extras too. All these little extra things are really fun and then of course the sentiment with those nice um, blacked out letters. I love that. The next set coming up is called Bits and Pieces Winter and when you first look at this you're kind of it's a little bit confusing but there is a great guide on the website and I will also have the link below for that or a link to my blog post which has the link to it. I'm going to show it to you here but here's the guide. It's layered stamping. So there's two to three, sometimes five or six different parts to these stamps. And I have a card at the end with an example showing some of them. But they're so cute and they're so fun. And it's a great way, if you've never tried layered stamping before, to try it and get tons of different images out of it. Because sometimes these layered sets are just flowers or just trees. And this one has a coffee cup, mittens, all different kinds of things. This is one of my favorites. It is called Gingham Background. It's a large like six by six rubber stamp background. It is so cool and you can do so many different things with it. In the example at the end, I stamped it in VersaFine Black Onyx ink and then poured clear embossing powder over it onto watercolor paper and then watercolored in red behind it. You could also do the watercoloring first and then stamp over it if you wanted to. But it also comes on this nice piece of plastic that you can use as a block because it is such a large stamp. So I usually just lay my stamp flat with the stamp side facing up and then put my paper on top of it and just like this and then take another piece of like scrap paper and burnish over it with my hand. That's how I get the best impression. And I do this with any large stamp, whether it's clear or rubber. So this next set is called Christmas Foliage, and it is really fun. This is a larger stamp set. I believe it was like 8 by 4 instead of 4 by 6 I think I measured it and then had to do a voiceover because I talked too long about these stamps. But um, this is really fun because it has some really pretty like kind of pine needles, and then it also has the little stem in the center that you could stamp. And it also has some different poinsettias. And I've shown you here two examples of how you can do the stem like in a brown color. And also to do the pine needles, I used a couple of different colors of like the little Prisma or little um, Prima chalk inks and just did it darker in the center and then lighter towards the outside, which gives you kind of like an ombre look stamping, which is really fun. And then it has also some great sentiments. And like I said, I'll have um, pictures at the end. And then on my blog, I have full-size photos of all of these stamp sets so that you can see them better because I'm just realizing now that in that shot, there some of it was cut off on the bottom. This next one is called Christmas Sentiments. Now, I'm not 100% sure that this one came out with this release. It could have come out last year, but it's still available and it's a great set. I like the the combination, not only the combination of the scripty font and then the block letters, but the combination of the bold with the unbold, if that makes sense. So the scripty one is in a thicker um, font than the block letters, which I really like. I also like that there's enough space that you could separate these if you wanted to. There's um, an example that I 
have at the end where I only used part of the sentiment and I did that just by just doing some simple masking. So there are a couple of other stamp sets in the new release that I didn't, that I don't have, but I will show them to you here. So there's this one, which is some, um, I think it's called holiday backgrounds or something. And then this other sentiment set. And then here are the card examples. This one is done on watercolor paper and these are on watercolor paper as well. I, I love embossing and then, um, watercoloring over it or watercoloring and then embossing. And then this one is done with Copic markers, which is, you know, not that great at. But anyhow, those are just a few examples and I hope that you will check out right at home. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all real soon. Bye.